Hamilton. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you very much, and welcome to Funny You Should Ask and Stars. Before we start, just before we went on, I was left a note on my desk here from Zsa Zsa, and she wants me to announce that she's opening in April. <laughs> He's uh, opening just what? Uh, I'm opening a play on April the 8th in, Chica the in Chicago. You're opening a play in Chicago April 8th? Yes, sir. Oh. What is it? In the... Where's Blythe Spirit. What? Blythe Spirit. Blythe Spirit. Spirit. Drew Lane or, or where? No, in the... Is it a musical? No, oh, don't mess up, <laughs> This is an old card play. You should have uh, written all that down there, though, just opening in April. It's April uh, in uh, in Chicago, did you New say, Jaja? In the Mill Run Theater. I'm, I'm yeah. doing the Bad Theater, the musical, this summer. Oh, are you really? I believe all right. that. Uh, we're doing oh, funny, you should I, ask, in case you're can asking. I, can I ask you a question? Yes, Jaja. Can I just say one thing about Glenn Ford? Yes. I know definitely that he doesn't wear black leotard. <laughs> You know for sure. Okay. That was on Monday show. Yes, that's right. We all know that. I'm sure we're all yeah. conscious of that. All right. Hey, in case you don't know what we're doing here, we're playing funny you should ask. And uh, the way it works is the stars are asked a question later on in the show, which they answer. Then after they've been heard, we bring our contestants out of the sound for booth and read them their answers one at a time. And their game, or our game, is to find out which star gave what answer. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Well, you need a libretto for this. That's right. All right. Oh, all right. Depending upon on what catches their eye first. Some men will refer to themselves as a, quote, leg man, unquote, or an, quote, angle, no. ankle man, unquote. Leg man or ankle man. That's in the uh, world of girl watching. Yeah. Say. Now, if you were judging a beauty contest, what is the first thing you would look for in a girl? Now, five judges up there of a beauty contest, what's the first thing you'd look for, Stu? I'm a judge in a beauty contest. Right. Mm-hmm. I do the same thing that most beauty contest judges look for. Good face. Mm hmm Good legs. Yes. Good body. Mm hmm Good time. <laughs> All right. Good time, he said. Good time. Zsa Zsa Gabor, what would you look for if you were a judge in a beauty contest? Well, if I would be a judge... I would look at her legs first, and I hope they were crooked. <laughs> you would hope. That's why they don't pick girls to judge beauty contests. Glenn Ford, what is the first thing you'd look for? I'd look to see if this young lady was trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. You <laughs> Right. You sound like a definite disqualification. Wow, that's amazing. You could remember it like that. Martha Ray, what would you look for? I'd look for an exit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who wants to be in a room with such beautiful young girls? So you'd want to get out. I'd take a cab. The quickest way to get I'm Go <laughs> leave. Okay. But stay here. Jim Backus. You're a judge in a beauty contest. What's the first thing you're going to look for? Well, I would check into her dimensions, and then I would check into her hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have our answer. And our contestants will be out in a moment. Kids today, wow, have they got it made. Take sneakers, for instance. My mother wouldn't let me wear them. She thought they weren't good enough for my feet. But mothers today know better. They know even though sneakers look alike, there's a big difference. Because there's one sneaker that really helps kids have healthy feet. This one. The PF. Doesn't look much different, except that it wears like crazy. But most important is something you can't see. Because inside every PF is a little wedge called Posture Foundation. What does it do? It helps distribute body weight to the outside of the foot where it belongs, so that there's less strain on active young foot and leg muscles. PF's big difference helps healthy feet grow up that way. So look for PF's for your kid. Even my mother approves of it. No. <laughs> 
introduce themselves. First we have... This is Susan Bell, and I'm from Sioux City, Iowa. I have one darling two-year-old daughter, <laughs> and I'm married. <laughs> Two. <laughs> That's nice. Uh -huh. Nick Sylvester, I live in Madison, Wisconsin. I come from Madison, Wisconsin. I'm married, have three children, and the activities coordinator for the city of Pasadena. All right, there you have our contestants on Funny You Should Ask, Susan Bell and Nick Sylvester. Now, at any time in our show, if you manage to play a perfect round, that means be right. Four times you win our Funny Money jackpot, and right now it's worth $4,400, and we'll keep going up $100 a round until it's hit. In addition, the one that comes up with the most right answers in each round gets a $100 gift certificate. Right, Kenny? Yes, from Spiegel, the famous Spiegel catalog company. The reliable modern Spiegel catalog features over 50,000 quality items. Spiegel, Chicago, 60609, Illinois. And that's it, Lloyd. All right, and for the most right answers on the entire show, a very special prize, so there are three ways for you to win. Be very careful when you push the button. That's how you decide. If you push the wrong one, it has to be it. We can't change it. And $4,400 is riding on it. All right. I ask our, uh, our, our stars, I was going to say our judges, I could do it that way. If you were judging a beauty contest, what's the first thing you would look for in a girl? That's what I asked, as if they were all judges. Who said? I looked to see if this girl was trustworthy, kind, generous, loyal, healthy, clean, honest, and reverent. Who said Is that? he serious? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. I'm making a selection. Of course, yes. That's, yes. Okay. Make your selection, Susan. <laughs> All right. Who would you say, Susan? Well, if this person is serious, I thought it was Glenn Ford because he's a little more serious. But if it was a joke... Yeah, well, all right, Nick, I think that uh, Stu Gillum said it. I think he's kind, uh, worthy, and all that Boy Scout. Well, yes, you don't know that, my guy. Wait a minute. Yes. In behalf of the Boy Scouts of America, let's get this straight. Yes. You didn't say it right. I didn't say it Trustworthy, more. loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. There it is. All right. this. I would check into her dimensions and then I would check into her hotel. Who said that? All right, lock in your answer there now, Susan and Nick. Lock it in there, Nick. Who did you say, Susan? Uh, I said Stu Gillum because I think he would like to have someone's hotel to check into. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nick, who did you say? <laughs> What did you say, along. Nick? I'll go along and uh, select Stu Gillum because I think you would like to lock some hotel room. Yes, all right. And you are wrong because it's Jim Backus who said that up there. All right. Nobody picked up the point. Who said this? Here's what I'd look for. Good face, good legs, good body, good time. Now, that's either Zsa Zsa Martha or Stu. Who said that? Lock it in. Lock it in, Susan and Nick. All right, who'd you say, Susan? I think it was Stu Gillum because I don't think either of the girls would be interested in good legs. All right. How about you, Nick? I think Martha Ray would be interested in good legs. <laughs> yes. Well, that's a suggestion of a contest. However, it was Stu Gillum who said that. And Susan, you picked up the point. All right. Now, this is either Martha or Zsa, Zsa that said this. It always gets down to Martha or Zsa, Zsa who said, I would look at her legs first and hope they were crooked. <laughs> who said that? Lock it in there. Let's see there. Zsa, Zsa. Or Martha said that. Who'd you say, Susan? Uh, I said it was Zsa Zsa because she has such beautiful legs that everyone else's would look crooked. Uh, Nick, how about you? I'll go along with Zsa Zsa. I can't beat what she said. All right. And it was Zsa Zsa Gabar that said that. And Susan, you came within one point. One point of winning $4,400. You did win a $100 gift certificate from Spiegel. And as our players head backstage to the soundproof booth, we're going to show the special prize that goes to the contestant who scores the most right answers for the day. One point within one. First, General Electric console stereo, equipped with exclusive Portify that lets you enjoy music from anywhere in your home. Simply plug the Portify receiver into any old wall outlet. Beautiful sound convenience with no unsightly or custom wiring necessary from General Electric. And 15 square yards of Capri Shag carpeting made of Celanese Portel fiber. Shoes from an array of exciting bold colors. Lively, bold, bright, sunlit colors inspired by the active western way of life by Holotex. And a 1969 edition of the World Book Encyclopedia, 20 volumes, continuously revised, containing more than 12,000 pages, representing the work of 2,500 consultants and contributors. Okay, Lloyd. All right. Thank you very much, Kenny. Now, John Wayne. John Wayne was recently given the honorary title by an Indian tribe of Chief Brave in the Dark. <laughs> <laughs> 
Didn't mean to choke you up, Josh. I mean, that's the way it was. Now, if you were honored by an Indian tribe, what title would they give you? If you were honored by an Indian tribe, what title do you think they'd give you, Jim Backus? Well, let's see. I think they'd call me uh, Big Chief Running Bear because I love to jog in the nude. <laughs> yes, I see. And, um, you don't think they would call me that? Yeah, they would. Uh, Martha Ray, what would they call you, Martha? <laughs> well, uh, what did they call, uh, what was the title? If you were uh, honored by an Indian tribe and they gave you a title. You but, know, I mean, what was the... Uh, Brave in the Dark. Duke or... Waynes, what was his... Uh... John Waynes was Chief Brave in the Dark. Chief Brave in, Brave in the Dark. Yes. Uh, big Mouth in the Light. <laughs> Chief Big Mouth in the Light, I see. Yeah. Now, Glenn Ford, I, I happen to know this as a fact, uh, Glenn was actually honored by an Indian tribe and is an Indian chief. You are an Indian chief. All right, what tribe is it, Glenn? I knew why I liked him. <laughs> well, that's right. I knew He's an Indian chief. What uh, tribe was it, Glenn? Kiowa tribe in Oklahoma. And, chief, and, uh, and what would they... Now, they called John Wayne Chief Brave in the Dark. What title did they give you? Now, this is serious. This is not like... Yeah, well, I'm very close to the Indians, and of course, uh, they're my very dear friends, so they call me Chief True Friend. Chief yeah. True Friend. And that's for real. All right, Jean Jean Gabor, what title would they give you? Hello, but you think how can I make a joke? <laughs> Yes. Oh, you said so beautiful. I didn't even meet an Indian yet. But anyhow, I think... How did I... you miss? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what would they call you, Zsa Zsa? What, uh, what... <laughs> I, think, I think they would call me Princess Great in the Dark. But... <laughs> Princess, yes. Well, I think I stopped here. That's it, okay. <laughs> All right. Because that's my braille. Yeah. Uh, Stu... <laughs> Stu Gillum. <laughs> All right, Stu Gillum. Uh, what would they call you? You're honored by an Indian tribe, no, uh, Stu. What would they call you? Well, to start with, they got to make me a chief because it's obvious I ain't a great white father. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> But I actually had the very great pleasure of uh, performing once for the uh, Commission of Indian Affairs on an Indian Reservation. Uh, I sang Exodus, you know, this land is my land. <laughs> and they said, hmm, colored kid, very funny, name him Chief Minnehaha. <laughs> All right, there you have our answers, our contestants. I'll be out in a minute. Your first real piece of furniture. A $75 bargain, but it's as precious to you as a $7,500 antique. So you treat it with love. With spray polish? Go ahead. That's New Behold. They've added expensive natural cabinet waxes to Behold's famous lemon oil. New Behold rejuvenates the wood and shines to a rich hand rub beauty. New Behold treats all your furniture like rare antiques. Like it's the only piece you own. seconds before your pain reliever starts to your headache. This is Bufferin. If you had taken Bufferin just 60 seconds ago, special ingredients could already be starting to speed its pain reliever to your headache. And what's more, Bufferin won't upset your stomach the way plain aspirin can. Doctors specify Bufferin most of all leading brands of headache tablets you can buy. Bufferin, on its way in just 60 mm -hmm. $21,500. Get four in a row, and that's yours. All right. If you were honored by an Indian tribe, what title would they give you? That's what I ask our stars. <laughs> Who would get the title of Chief Minnehaha's? It's tough at this point. <laughs> what did you say, Susan? I said Martha Ray because uh, I've always thought of her as a very good comedian. All right. And Nick? And I'll agree with Martha Ray. I think she's full of a lot of ha-has. Well, I want to tell you, the ha-ha man is sitting on the end over there. And it's Stu Gillum, and nobody got any of those points. All right, who... I'm going to do a dance, and it's going to rain over y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who, who would be named Big Chief Running Bear because I like to jog in the nude? 
It's either Glenn, Jim, Zsa Zsa, or Martha. Mm -hmm. Susan, who did you say? I chose Jim Backus because he looks like he has an all-over tan. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nick, uh, who did you say? I think Jim Backus. I think he likes to run. Yes, I, I think you're right. And it is Jim Backus. We pick up a point. All right. All right, now this is either Glenn, Zsa Zsa, or Martha. Who said I would be named Chief Great in the Dark? <laughs> who said that? Lock in your answers there. Be very careful. Lock it in now. This is either Martha, Jaja, or Glenn. Lock it in, uh, Nick. You probably chose... It's either oh, wait, Glenn, Jaja, or Martha. Uh, oh. Push it in again there. All right, you might have chosen someone. Yeah, okay. Who'd you say, Susan? Uh, I said Glenn Ford. Because I... I he probably is great in the dark. <laughs> Nick, how about you, baby? I'm I'm with you. I don't want to find out about the dark. <laughs> However, it was cheap, great in the dark. Zsa Zsa Gabor over there. And you didn't pick up the points. All right. Now, this is either Glenn or Martha, and the title is Cheap True Friend. And that's either Glenn or Martha. All right, who'd you say, Susan? I said Glenn Ford because uh, I think that was a very sincere answer. And Nick? I think Martha Ray because of all her activities overseas. Well, actually, both very sincere, and, and you're right in that, uh, but Glenn Ford is really Chief True Friend. He was named Chief True Friend. And here, a gift for being on the show. First, a Fashion 220 Glamour case filled with individualized moisturizing Fashion 220 cosmetics, including cleansing cream, liquid makeup, magic stick, rouge, eyeshadow, powder, mascara, pencil, and lipstick. And Sears 8-speed push-button touch-and-go blender with colorful blender cookbook. For the latest in countertop appliances, it's the counter-revolution at Sears. Okay, Lloyd. Hi, Kenny, thank you. In a recent survey of 200 major hotels in the United States, bellhops voted actors as the worst tippers. Now that was, they took a vote. Now our question is, why are you actors so tight with your money? Oh. What the things are saying. You were voted the worst tippers? Must have been a Hilton hotel. <laughs> I don't know whether they surveyed the Hilton Hotel. It's ridiculous. Place. Jim Backus. Jim, why are you actors so tight with your money? There's a survey that says that's so. Well, actually, uh, I think actors are second. I mean, this is off the record, uh, not to be... Uh, but baseball players are worse, believe it or not. Oh, really? But uh, I know that I am... It's the way I'm built. I have very short arms and very low pockets. <laughs> oh, I see. To get to. Yes. Chief, uh, low pocket. Yes, cheap, low pocket. Uh, Zsa Zsa, uh, why are actors so frugal? Well, I am not stingy. I spend much more money on my husband than my husband spends on me. So you're and not stingy at all? the hotels, I don't believe that. You don't believe, you don't believe it's true then? No. All right, sir. Glenn Ford, uh, now, uh, this is not my question. It's written here. Why are you actors so tight with your money? No. No? Well... I was a bellboy once, and one of the best tips I ever received was from an actress, and it wasn't money. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to ask. Martha Ray, you mean the horse came in first? <laughs> Martha Ray, uh, why do you think uh, actors are so tight with their money? Well, I don't think. I think that's ridiculous. Uh, um... I think they, they, as a matter of fact, are the most generous and that they, they overtip, really, uh, especially the ones who have come up the hard way. So you think it's not true that they actually are more generous? Yes, sir. The bellhops are wrong, all right? Don't go in a hotel. <laughs> I used to be a barmaid. I know. <laughs> Stu Gillum, why are actors so tight with their money, now, Stu? Oh, no, but I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of hostility towards bellmen. <laughs> No, really, it's a very logical reason. I think everybody else is scared to mention, and I can go back into obscurity easier than anybody else. <laughs> so I'm going to tell it like it is. It's, oh. our, it's our limited earning time span. Because, well, I remember I hit my peak earning February the 13th from 115 to 145. That was your peak. Unfortunately, I was out to lunch at the time. So consequently, you, you, you don't tip very lavishly then, right? No, no, I have an impediment in my reach. All right, there you have our answers, our contestants will be out. <laughs> Greatest shaving product ever made for after-shower shavers like me, new formula 409 bathroom cleaner. Gets bathroom surfaces so clean even steam won't stick. The mirror proves it. 
Try cleaning half your mirror the usual way, half with new 409 bathroom cleaner. See the other side steam up? The 409 side so clean steam won't stick. Get 409 bathroom cleaner, the better bathroom cleaner. It sure revolutionized shaving. These kids were told to make as much dirt as they can. Creative lipstick designs on the table. And you can always judge a man by the shine on his shoes, right? Here come the mothers with the one cleaner that can do it all. Formula 409. Spray and even lipstick wipes away easily. And just pour a little 409 in water to mop away the toughest dirt and stains. Look at that floor shine. Handy spray, economical half gallon. 409 is the one cleaner that does it all. Thousands are here today to be Clarence overnight, the world's fastest wall painter. Clarence, how do you do it? Quite simply, science, DuPont Lucite, the work skipper. Lucite? You skip stirring, see, and you skip wiping up drips. Lucite doesn't make a drippy mess. Observe how well it covers. You can clean up with soap and water. Uh, Clarence, what now? I'm retiring. Competitive painting with Lucite is simply too easy. A man has to go to work sometime. Oh. cookware certified Teflon 2 is so easy to clean. As we've said, almost nothing sticks to it. We hope that's not a problem for you. $4,600 for four in a row, and we're late, so we've got to move along fast. Here's the question I ask our stars. Why are you actors so tight with your money? Who said, I was a bellhop once, and one of the best tips I ever received was from an actress, and it wasn't money. <laughs> who said that? I can end that. Who'd you say, Susan? I said Jim Backus. Nick, who did you say? I think Glenn Ford. And it was Glenn Ford that said that, right. And moving right along. Last year. Who said Last this? Year. It's the way I'm built. Short arms and low pockets. Who said that? Lock it in there now. Who'd you say, Susan? I said Stu Gillum. And Nick, who'd you say? I think Jim Backus. Jim Backus, and it was Jim Backus. That's two more. We really got to go. Who said this? Oh. Wow. We're, I mean, that means that we're all out of time. We're all out of time. We don't have a chance to finish. Well, at that point... Nick had two points. That means he won that round and has $100 gift certificate. What happened to our grand prize, Kenny? Here's the final total for all games. Nick was correct four times. Susan was correct five times. So Susan was in the grand winner and gets the console stare of the carpeting and the encyclopedia. Well, we didn't have time to go for the funny money jackpot. Tomorrow starts off at $4,700. You did win $200. You won $100. Nick, congratulations for playing funny. You should ask. That's it. See you tomorrow. Funny, you should ask. Goodbye.